Jury selection began today in the second murder trial for former Atlanta attorney Tex McIver. He was found guilty of shooting his wife in 2018, but the Georgia Supreme Court later overturned that conviction, leading to a new trial. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates was in court today. She's joining us now live with more on what happened. Bo Beth? Well, Jennifer, court started today with the state offering Tex MacGyver a plea deal, but he quickly turned it down. Then his attorneys proceeded to make a motion to exclude evidence from this trial that was used in the first trial. Take a listen to how that all played out. You can say he intended to shoot her, but not kill her. Tex MacGyver's attorney appealed to Judge Robert McBurney that the prosecution should not be allowed to argue that MacGyver shot his wife intentionally for financial gain, and he used the jury's original conviction to make that point. The, the prosecution was wrong in opening, wrong in closing, in arguing to, to you that they, he intended to shoot her for financial reasons because it, they, they, the jury rejected that. They didn't. They, they rejected intent to kill yes. for financial reasons. Kill, not shoot. The judge wasn't buying the argument, making the point that only the jury who found MacGyver guilty in 2018 would know the details of that conviction. And the prosecution made a similar point. And the state submits that this is not a case where the jury's verdict of acquittal as to the malice murder necessarily decided uh, that they did not believe MacGyver had the intent to kill his wife. MacGyver was found guilty of felony murder for the 2016 shooting of his wife, Diane. According to prosecutors, they were driving home from a weekend trip when MacGyver, who was sitting in the back seat, shot his wife, who was sitting in the passenger seat in front of him. MacGyver's attorney calls it a tragic accident. The Georgia Supreme Court overturned the conviction because jurors were not properly instructed to consider a lesser charge of involuntary manslaughter. And as the new trial gets underway, the state argued that granting the defense motion could impact their case. That's why they want to take that evidence away from the state because that is uh, a large chunk of what the state did to show that Mr. MacGyver acted intentionally when he shot and killed his wife. It would basically be taking the state and saying yes you get to retry the case but no you can't use the evidence of those charges. Now, the judge has not ruled on that motion to exclude the evidence as of yet. Instead, they moved forward with jury selection. They started with a pool of about 100 people. They got through the first 35, and jury selection will continue tomorrow. Sending it back to you guys. Okay, Bill Beth, thanks so much.